evoking past cultures, their belief and traditions, their message that they kept alive for so long only to be met with ignorance and disbelief in today's misunderstood traditions. The builders of the past built for God. They built structures from Egypt to Greece that are direct places for the figure in the sky to be observed directly. Vishnu is the second god in the Hindu Trimurti, and the Trimurti of course consists of the three gods who are responsible for the creation, upkeep and destruction of the whole world. The other two are Brahma and Shiva, and they make up the three in the Squatterman manifestation. According to the Hindu scriptures, Brahma is the creator of the universe, Shiva the destroyer, and Vishnu is the preserver and protector of the universe. Vishnu's role is to return to the earth in troubled times and restore the balance of the good and evil. And so far, he has been incarnate nine times that Hindu believe that he will reincarnate one last time, close to the end of the world. Wait till you hear this. Awaiting for the gods' return, the Squatterman manifestation, the people built structures far and wide, tall and strong. To us today, Bagan is one of the greatest archaeological sites and one that is just out of reach. A richly vegetative, 26 square mile plain, part covered in the stands of palm and tamarind, caught in the bend of the lazy flowing Arawadi River, and framed of course by the hazy silver grey of distant mountains, where the great gods in the manifestation would have been observed in these ancient times. Seemingly sprouting up above the treetop canopy, a vast array of cosmic stomping grounds, scores of monuments silhouetting a previous existence of worship, the meaning of which, of course, has been completely lost to history. These temples and structures are thought to have originally been 4,450 in number, and the surviving 2,230 temples are some of the most impressive ancient structures found anywhere today, especially by their number. The unsullied destination is of a global importance, with UNESCO already restoring hundreds of temples, with many of these temples containing frescoes and carvings and statues of Buddha, big and small. According to the Burmese Chronicles, Bagan was founded in the 2nd century AD and fortified in 849 AD by King Pien Bia, the 34th successor of the founder of early Bagan. And this place is probably the greatest man-made wonder in Southeast Asia. Inscribed on sandstone reads, Let there be prosperity, I have no regard for merit, none for a heap of wealth, none at all for the enjoyment of lust. Whatever is to happen, O oh God, will happen in accordance with the previous actions. This alone is to be prayed for and highly valued by me, and every other birth also let me possess unswerving devotion to the pair of thy lotus feet. Whatever will happen, will happen again in accordance to the previous action. This is the warning of the Squatterman manifestation in the sky. And perhaps Buddha becomes the god calmed after the event, and places like this tell us of a catastrophe that will happen again by the hand of this god, whom in the solar cycle will again become Vishnu, Shiva and Brahma at some point in the future. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.